Hello, everybody. So I'm going to show you here the SoundCloud API, the files that I use, uh, what codes. Got my HTML file over here. Starting from the top with the pictures, the, the IDs that I use, the names, the form, breaks, description. This ID description here, we're going to insert the description of the songs. And where it says artwork, we're going to insert the, the image of the song or, or album of the song. This uh, commented area here, it's the for the local jukebox. And you got here the volume input. And we got the, the buttons, the player buttons, play, pause, stop, next, previous. And to make it real, more a little realistic, got the copyright at the bottom. Since this is an API, you have to add the script at the bottom. Uh, uh, the source code, uh, SoundCloud, and Jukebox JavaScript. So, this is a JavaScript file and define two variables, tracks and players. And using this document that at event listener uh, done content loaded, there we're going to use that play button. And adding that function that on click, we're going to play the track. And the same concept for the remaining of the buttons. For play, play track current song, players current song dot pause for pause. So uh, SoundCloud has a different function for uh, how they work. So they use the seek function. To, to stop, so first you pause it and then you do the seek as shown here. And zero is uh, like to start it from scratch, that's the time zero. Same for the other ones forward, current song, plus plus, that's adding a song. Kind of self explanatory here. And for previous is like the opposite of next. So instead of plus plus, minus minus. And then current song less than zero. Current song equals tracks length minus one. Had to play around that to figure that out. Then the SoundCloud API streaming on songs. You had to do this. You had to use a, a SoundCloud um, ID. You had to get one. If you don't have one, you had to request one from SoundCloud. A uh, API key from them. You can use that there. Okay. And these are the functions to to get the description of the song that you type at the top. And where you're going to, where it inserts the title, the genre, the links, description of the song. And then here, document get element by ID, artwork, the picture album. And this was testing uh, directly, like with two random track IDs before I was using the search. That's two ways. So the ones, the buttons at the top was for the local tracks, and the buttons at the bottom was for the SoundCloud API. So it's like two jukeboxing one. The commented link, the commented uh, code is for the local track. We're gonna be testing the SoundCloud API. That one. 
and for the volume this was a little bit challenging because SoundCloud does things differently than a normal jukebox or JavaScript so like this part was the one that I had to figure out players current song that set volume set volume is a SoundCloud um, function that they use to for like a volume slider this is for the local jukebox okay and so here we got this is the page and I did like a little logo here on top uh, gramophone the title of the page is um, with a gradient background it has like three colors yellow gray red it looks like a little metallic I thought it was cool the volume also has a design to it it has a real long uh, real long um, code to to get that um, to get it looking like that Since it's a slider, it was a you know I had to approach it in a different way. I couldn't just do like by ID on CSS. So, as shown here, input type equal range and so on. A real long CSS. Uh, you know details here to get it looking like this so I changed the cursor the color of the, of the slider okay. and then uh, the buttons here the buttons have a, a gradient background as well as so you can see red on top gray at the bottom I thought it was cool like that because it goes with the with the theme of the of the page and uh, we can type anything here, like this, three goes down, for example, submit request. A hundred days have made me older since the last time that I saw you. So, next. may take a little bit because since it's in SoundCloud it, it takes a while like to go there and there's a lot of people using the same API key so there it is all the buttons are working next previews stop pause pause play So you can just type anything here. I want to stop first before searching again. Or refresh. I have. Okay. Uh, that's about it. I think that's that sums it up. So my name is Alpha Corona. If you like this video, let me know. If there's a question that you have, uh, comment, let, send me a message or anything. You can follow me on Facebook. Subscribe to this channel. Let me know if this was useful. Um, also, uh, we're going to be showing you more projects that um, we covered here. Um, like the cookies project um, we're already covering SAS and bootstrap and uh, there's other cool stuff that uh, I'm about to show you soon so make sure to uh, subscribe and check that uh, bell on YouTube to let so you get informed and with an email for every video that is uploaded every new one thank you very much for your time